Hey guys, it's Jose. Hi! I miss you guys. Before we start this math class, I just really wanted to let you guys know that I miss you and that I hope that you guys are doing really well during this quarantine. Um, I hope that you're all at home safe. Um, and I really do miss your hugs and seeing your faces in the morning and hearing about your crazy stories from your weekends to what your friends did to what Rocco did and what so-and-so did and Samantha's ice skating meet. Oh, look at the hi! Brandon! Yeah. Say hi to every, all the fourth graders. Hi, everybody. Do you know Toby? Uh, Toby's here, too. Look at Toby. That's yeah, Toby. Yes, yeah, he's a good boy. Yeah. So you might see both of them in and around the, when we're doing lessons because we're teaching from our home in Denver. I'll try not to come out. Okay. I'm going to take Toby on a walk. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Um, so we've turned our apartment here in Denver into a classroom. So we're going to be doing our lessons from here. Um, all of the lessons will be on YouTube. Um, so please make sure that you guys click, sus oh God, I sound like one of those YouTubers. Uh, subscribe to this channel and uh, make sure you guys keep updates on uh, videos when I upload them. Okay. Enjoy your walk, Toby. Bye. All right, let's get down to business. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with a warm up. Every class will start with a warm up. And this is just to help you guys get back into a math frame of mind, okay? Uh, some days it'll be mental math, like today. Other days it'll be a riddle. Other days it'll be a word problem or a puzzle. So we will try to, I will try to mix it up for you guys and try to do as many different things as I can. Um, but for today, let's go ahead and get started with mental math. A couple of reminders for mental math. It's called mental math. So all the work is done right up here, okay? There are no notebooks, no pencils, no calculators in this one. This is really to help you guys do a lot of this math in your head and think with numbers pretty quickly, okay? Um, the really fun thing about doing this on YouTube is that you guys can pause the video. You can rewind it if you missed a step. Um, but I'm gonna try to go as slow as I can. Um, and if you want the challenge, you can kind of just go with the video, okay? All right, hope you're ready. Clear your minds and let's get started. All right, I want you to start with the product of three times two, okay? So what is three times two? Great, got it. I want you to now add a dozen. Add a dozen. Good. Now I want you to divide by nine. Got it. Next, I want you to triple that number. How many of you have that answer? If you're not ready, go and pause the video here. If you didn't pause the video, that means you're ready to go. So in your mind, you should have the number six. Nice job. All right, now we're gonna get started with our lesson. lesson. You are going to need a pencil, okay? It's math, we should all know to have pencils by now. Um, we're going to need our student book and our home connections book. Now, before we get all home connections, oh my God. It's part of your 30 minute block that you have for math uh, for you to do it here. You guys are already at home, so you're already doing home connections anyway. Um, so just know that the assignments won't be the same every day. You won't have home connections built in as part of your 30 minute block every day. Sometimes, some days it might be a little different, some days um, there might be something extra for those of you who really are enjoying this and are really um, getting the content. So uh, let's get our supplies ready. Also, grab some water nearby if you're stuck in our computer and then grab a snack. So I'm gonna sit here and snack while you guys get your stuff, go. your notebooks we're gonna do uh, our lesson today in a problem string with a problem string so please make sure you um, get your notebooks as well 
Sorry, I forgot. First time. All right, so when you have gotten to your notebook with your pencil, uh, we can put the student book and the home connections book off to its side for right now. Um, but let's go ahead and open up to our uh, notebooks, not the handbooks, not the handbook, but our notebook, okay? Uh, find an open, clean page. And then at the top of the clean page, I want you to write marker. How old, question mark, and this is a problem string. So go ahead and put that across the top of your notebooks. I have uh, written down how old at the top of, or how old problem string, I should say, at the top of your uh, page. Um, I want you to listen to this problem. Okay, so we're just listening right now. We're not writing anything down after you've written your title. Okay, um, so let's listen to this problem. Okay, Jason's grandfather is 82 years old. His grandmother is 79 years old. How many years older is Jason's grandfather than his grandmother? Okay. If you need to, you can rewind the video to listen to the problem one more time. Great. So what I want you to do in your notebooks, I want you to write down number one, okay? And I want you to write down an equation for this problem. So some of you might have come up with an equation for this problem. We know that uh, the grandfather is 82 and the grandmother is 79. So those are the two numbers that we need to be working with. I'm gonna put uh, this problem as 82 minus 79, okay? So that is the problem that we have to find out. I want you to think of a strategy. What is something that you can use besides just subtracting the numbers, just like I have them up there? What is something else that you can do? Think about it. Great. How many of you thought of a number line? Raise your hand. Good. So I'm going to use a number line to help me solve this problem. My number line is going to include both my numbers in order. So I'm going to start here with 79 and I'm going to write my other number here as 82. Okay. Hope you can all see that. That's a little far away, I'm sorry. All right, so what I want you to do on this number line is tell me what, how many numbers do we need to get from 79 to 82. You can draw an arc to connect the two numbers, and I want you to label that arc with the number of, um, with how many digits you have to move to get to 82. Good, in your notebooks, the arc you created, it should be connecting 79 to 82, and this would have given you an answer of three, okay? For a second question, okay? Remember, this is a problem string, so we're gonna keep giving you questions, all right? Here's question number two. I have a friend who is 63, her grandson is five. How much older is my friend than her grandson? If you need to re if you need to listen to this video one more time, go ahead and rewind it. If you got it, I want you to in your notebooks, go ahead and below the problem that we just did. Right there. <laughs> I want you to write number two and come up with an equation for this word problem. Go. So for number two, if you were listening, if you listened to the problem and came up with the two numbers, the two numbers that we are gonna be working with are 63 and five. I'm gonna use the same strategy that I started off with here, okay? I'm gonna write down my numbers first, sorry. 
63 minus 5. That's my equation. Okay? I'm then going to write, use a number line again. Okay? So, for this number line, I'm going to start by placing my largest number here, 63, on my number line. Okay? And so, because of the equation that I set up, I am being asked to start at 63 and take away 5. So I'm going to use my number line, and I'm actually going to count this backwards. Okay? I'm going to go backwards on this one. I know that here I'm going to subtract 5. And if I'm going back 5 numbers from 63, that is going to take me to... You got it, 58. Okay? So 58 is going to be my answer for this one. Okay? Great. So what we have done here is that we have uh, subtracted two different equations using a number line. But did you notice that on my first number line, See if I can get a little closer here. Oh, 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 I'm still trying to figure this out, guys. Sorry. All right. For our first number line here, in the blue, right there, I started off with 79 and then moved up to 82. For my second number line, I started with 63 and actually moved down to 58. So even though we used a number line, we did two different things. Okay. The first thing that we did with our first equation is called finding the difference. Okay? We found the difference between two different numbers. Something that we did differently in our second one is that we took away or removed. Okay? So we have two strategies here. One, the one on the top, again, is finding the difference or, or yeah, finding the difference between two numbers. The second one is that we are removing or taking away numbers. Okay? All right, so I have updated my board up there, if you can see it there. Um, I've updated my board to now include the two names of the strategy. So for the first one, I, I want you to do this in your notebooks as well. I want you to label it as finding the difference for that first problem. Uh, if you have space underneath your... Um, equation and your number line or off to the side. You can do it just like I did. Um, and then for the second one, I want you to label that as removing and then in parentheses, if you want to also write down taking away, um, just to help you remember that that's what we're doing when we remove, when I call the strategy removing, um, that you're taking away numbers. Okay. All right. So with that in mind, I'm going to give you two more problems for this problem string. Okay. I need you to listen very closely. And I want you to think about which strategy would be better to use for each problem. Is it something that we can use find the difference? Or is it something that we need to remove or take away? All right? So here is your next problem. If Uncle Terry was born in 1947, how old was he in 1992? So our two numbers that we're using for that equation are 1992 and 1947. So I want you to create a number line and I want you to think about, is this something that we need to find the difference or is it something that we need to remove? Okay. Pause the video here so you can work on your notebook and figure out this problem. See you back in a bit. We're going to move on to our next problem. Okay. Again, with number strings, you're working smarter, not harder. You're going to start building from your previous problems that we did. So if you're getting a little stumped, look back in your notebook. Look back to the problems that we did. Look back at the names of the strategies we were working on. Okay? You should have them in your notebook as well. Here is your next problem. If Timmy was 15 in 1996, when was he born? Okay, if you need this repeated, 
Let me go ahead and rewind the video. So the two numbers that we're working with here are 1996 and 15. So I want you to think about once you created an equation and a number line in your notebooks, I want you to think about is this something that we are removing or taking away from, or is this something that I need to find the difference? So is your number line going forward or higher numbers, or is it going back? Think about that and then work on your number line, okay? All right, so let's go over some answers. Um, for the first problem, my uncle Terry, we were looking at the numbers 1992 and 1947. So if we were building a number line, we would place the year 1947 and 1992, and we would actually do the find the difference strategy. We would count from 1947 to 1992. An easy way to do that is to start at 1947 and go to the next closest multiple of 10, which is 1950. So we went three. And then from 1950 to 1992, if we do some quick mental math, we know that that's 42 years. So if we add the three that we had at the beginning plus the 42, that would have given us 45. Okay. And again, that was using the find the difference strategy. For our second problem on Timmy, uh, who was 15 in 1996, and we had to figure out how old or what year he was born, this one was a removing or taking away strategy on our number line. So we had to start with the year 1996. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. Uh, 1996, and then we'd have to go backwards. Good, easy way to do this is if we start in 1996, get to your nearest multiple of 10. So if we're going backwards, the next multiple of 10 would be 1990, okay? So that means we took away six years. Now, if we have six taken away and we need a total to take away a 15, that means we need nine more. So then we go backwards from 1990, we're gonna go back nine until we get to 1981. And so that is the year that Timmy was born. Oh, cats, it's almost time to head outside, but before you do that, here's some work to do on your student book. So, in your wonderful, beautiful, magical student books, oh, um, I want you to do pages 139 to 140 in your student books, okay? 139 to 140, okay? And it's important that you do these to do the next lesson because we're actually going to look back at the stuff in our student books, okay? And also, also for today, I want you guys to open up those dusty old home connections books for some of you because I've checked them and I know you haven't done your work. I won't tell your parents. Um, crowd going, go ahead and get this open and we're going to work on pages 75 and 76 in your home connections book. So please make sure you guys do that before you head outside today. So good to see see all of you and um if you need anything else from me i am available via zoom and via email okay you can also leave a comment down here and i can always get back to you um and i just really enjoyed doing this video for you guys today thank you so much have a great day bye